Hi guys! Uh, okay, so today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the benefits of art and show you what we are doing here. I also want to quickly give you a quick life update. I've decided, uh, if you've been following me, that I, you, you probably already know that I went to college, I finished college. Uh, and I got a degree, but I've decided to go back to school actually and get a second degree in education and But yeah, so that's a quick little life update uh, but in the meantime, I want to show you what we're doing here and Talk to you guys a little bit about just some benefits in my opinion with uh, when it comes to art uh, Number one is a no-brainer. It's basically your child giving your child the opportunity to be creative, but Beyond that, it's a way for them to express themselves. So that's one reason I love art. Um, another one is that they get to explore the materials. They get to get their hands dirty. It's very, um, it's great for fine motor skills. Uh, yeah. Some other things to think about when it comes to art is uh, collaboration and bonding with your children. Uh, working on something together, learning to be patient. Uh, I think it's great when my da daughters work on something together and they just bond really well when they're when they're doing that uh, And yeah, and then I like to be to work with them as well So art is actually really good also for critical thinking skills Decision making deciding what you want to do. How are you going to express yourself through the art? So it's just a lot of fun and particularly for my two-year-old. She loves it She loves to you know really get her hands dirty now. I know that it's hard, especially if you don't want it to get too messy. And then in addition, it's hard because a lot of times we're working parents that I'm, I don't work. I, I mean, I do this YouTube, but I understand uh, what it must be like if you are a working parent and you come home and you don't necessarily have the time always to set things up like this. Or maybe you don't work outside the house, but you're just doing a lot, a lot, you know, and it doesn't always work out the way you want it to. Maybe you'll set something up and then your kids don't like it or whatever, right? But I just wanted to let you guys know that it's all about having fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about the process and not the outcome of what they're working on. So hopefully that makes sense. But the, what I'm gonna show you today is a, a family canvas that we're gonna be working on together. And then it's, I can actually hang it and I can keep it and then they sign it and we date it and it's just a lot of fun. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm, done, I'm done talking. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I set up here. So this is the canvas we're gonna be working on. I actually got this, it's, it's wood. I got this at uh, Home Goods for $1. I know you guys can't see it over there, but it literally was, it went from, I don't know what the original price was, but then it went down to, I think it was like eight, then two, then one. So apparently nobody wanted this, which is okay because I wanted it. It says tranquility. I know it's upside down. Uh, so we're going to be working on that. It already has hooks in the back and we can hang it, which is great. Uh, what I did here is I put out some of these um, just paper that I cut up. This is some of our previous art, just so you know, just in case you're wondering. Um, this is art that we were going to dispose of and I cut it up into different pieces because what my kids like to do is glue and then we, we mod podge. Hopefully I'm saying, I, I think it's called mod podge. Yeah. Uh, we'll mod podge it on top and um, it'll seal it and it's great. It is awesome. So if you don't know about mod podge, um, read about it. It's, I'll, I'll try to find a link for it on Amazon and I'll link it. Okay, so then I set up this paint and I have a lot of paint out here. Now this paint I made, I just basically, I didn't make it from scratch, but I basically took these colors that are a lot more intense and I added a lot of white so I can make pastel colors. And then I made purple and I got, you know, almost two different brushes, two brushes per jar, except for these two. I do that because what's well, easier for my two-year-old to work with one brush at a time and you know not maybe not mix them sometimes she still mixes it and that's okay then over here is stuff that we had from art that we were working on before uh, so basically when my kids are working on art I leave it out for a few days here because uh, sometimes they'll go back to it sometimes I'll move their art to their desk into the playroom the desk that's in the playroom but this is some of the stuff that we had from the previous thing we were working on and I'm gonna leave it out because they'll probably want to add it to this canvas um, these are just you know like wooden hangers some sequins uh, recycled art uh, made with the 
uh, butterfly staple. These are little wood um, sticks that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And then these uh, are from Ikea, but we have so many of these. These are little beads that you put on a, like a bead tray made for these. And then you make a design and you use wax paper and the iron and it melts them together and you have a design. So, but we have so many of those. So we like to use them for our art, for like gluing and stuff and necklaces. And then I always have some natural stuff. These are just tree twigs, pine cones, uh, ribbon more recycled stuff, some pom-poms, um, some recycled, not recycled, uh, well, yeah, recycled, but uh, cardboard that I cut up into uh, basically rainbows and a triangle. And so, and then this thing was left over from another art activity. Uh, the, the glue that I like to use is this uh, Elmer's glue, but it's not just Elmer, it, Elmer's glue. It's special Elmer's glue, and it's called Craft Bond. And you can get it at the 99 cent store. I think people are starting to learn about this because every time I go to the 99 cent store now, I don't see it, which I'm like, oh man, I'm probably gonna have to order it on Amazon, but probably better because I could probably get bigger bigger ones than instead of these little ones because we go through this really fast, guys. But this stuff really, really holds and that's the only stuff I've been able to find that actually holds like heavy stuff like this, pine cones, because my kids really like to glue and paint pine cones. Uh, yeah, well, we work with pine cones in a lot of different ways. We will wrap it with wire and use beads. Uh, so we have a lot of fun with that. So this is an unconventional canvas. Obviously, it's not, it's like a heavy duty wood. Uh, I also quickly want to mention before I forget, um, another place you can find canvases for really cheap instead of going to Michael's is going to the thrift store because at thrift store you can find really big canvases for uh, pretty cheap, like, you know, basically paintings that you really don't like and your kids can paint over them. Now, make sure that it's not a painting by somebody famous. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, so I go there sometimes and I will find really, really cheap canvases. It's, sometimes it's, it's fun to paint on a canvas versus like paper or cardboard. So I hope you guys got some inspiration, maybe some ideas for an activity with your kid. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you're just having fun and you're bonding and they are having an experience and they can get... Um, just explore the materials and yeah, have a lot of fun. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye